What is up y'all, I'm Jordy, and I'm going to be using a Tyranitar Excadrill team today. This team was created by Cloverbells, I'm not sure who created the rental code, but that's up there in the corner for you. But this team is just super fun and has a lot of cool picks. Tyranitar, now that Regulation H is here and these restricted mons and such are gone, is actually a really viable weather setter. We've got an Assault Vest set, it's pretty normal, Terra Flying, Terra Blast, Rock Slide, Knock Off, Low Kick is like the one move that you might change around, but this is a very standard set. We've got an Earthquake Excadrill with Terra Ground, which pairs well with this Terra Flying Tyranitar, or this Salamence, which is in the air, or this Levitate Rotom. Just so many cool picks here. The Salamence is our Tailwind Setter, it's Life Orb with Air Slash and Draco Meteor, it can do surprising damage. Amoongus is just an Amoongus, have fun with it. Rotom has safety goggles, so it doesn't get hit by the sandstorm, and also it's immune to spore. It's got its standard overheat move, and Will-O-Wisp is cool, so you can just burn some stuff. Primarina, pretty standard set here. It's our haze user. It's really good to have a haze user, and also Primarina is probably one of the best water types in the game now, so it just fills out that fire, water, grass core with Amoongus and Rotom. But anyways, I'm excited to play this team. I hope you are excited to watch me play this team. And let's get into it. Okay, we are fighting Goldango with Murkrow, Rillaboom, Archaladon, Garchomp, and Annihilate. I don't see any rain unless it's just Rain Dance Murkrow, so I'm not sure what the Archaladon's doing. Excadrill? Honestly, Earthquake is nerfed by the grassy terrain, but I mean, that could actually be a big problem. Our special attackers are pretty good into our Chaladon. Our Charmander does have low kick, but low kick actually doesn't do that much into our Chaladon. Uh, I'm thinking Tyranitar Excadrill might not be the best, but it's not bad. I kind of want to bring Salamence, but I think Rotom. Yeah, Rotom actually does really well. There's a few things I can burn. Overheat hits a lot of those really hard. Just doesn't really hit Garchomp. In that case, do I want Primarina? Amoongus doesn't feel great. They've got a couple Spore immunities. Possibly a, another one, maybe a Terra Grass somewhere. I think I can do Salamence. It's pretty fast. It can hit some stuff pretty hard. We can match Tailwind if we get the opportunity. And then just not bring Primarina. They have Rillaboom anyway. Yeah, Salamence also does really well into Rillaboom. Rillaboom does cause some problems for Tyranitar, Excadrill, Primarina. So having Salamence for that is pretty nice. Alright, let's see what happens. This looks like it's taking a long time to load, but here it goes. Ooh, and they don't have a trainer card. Boo. Boo. Okay. We've got Murkrow and Golden Go. Versus Tyranitar, Excadrill. Okay. Make it rain would hurt Tyranitar a lot, but Rotom double resists. So that's an easy swap if I want to do that. And then I could go for Earthquake. Uh, would they swap in Rillaboom here? Maybe. <laughs> but on an aggressive team like this, I would expect Terra Steel from Golden Go, so it's not like they can get around Earthquake without just bringing in Rillaboom. And if they do bring in Rillaboom and lock in to make it rain, Rotom's in a decent position. I don't want to tear a ground though. So I'll just I'll just earthquake and swap in Rotom. It's also a chance, depending on their Golden Ghost speed, that we're just faster. Even if they tail in. I would I would expect them to be a pretty fast Golden Go, but. And they are Terra Steel. So if they can't knock out Excadrill, we can get the KO in return. <laughs> Sunny day. Okay. I lose my sand rush. That's no different than if you had tailwinded. And make it rain does not come close to knocking anything out. That does feel like specs damage, though. No surprise there. An earthquake from this. I think that takes Golden Go, right? We'll see. No, they're super bulky. Okay.
We do have Protect on Excadrill. Might just want to throw a Thunderbolt to finish off Golden Go and Protect Excadrill this turn. Because they can pretty easily haze Make It Rain again. Though if I bring in Tyranitar, we can move first. And then if they Sunny Day... If they Sunny Day Make It Rain, we, we, we hurt... We get hurt on Tyranitar too bad, yeah. We'll just Thunderbolt Protect. Yeah, I was thinking about bringing in Tyranitar here, because then I could maybe move first. But if they do Tailwind or Sunny Day, and then they can hit Tyranitar... Yeah, they did Tailwind. So they were going to move before Excadrill anyway. But this means they're going to just throw a minus one Make It Rain, which isn't going to hurt Rotom very much. Oh, they are chipping it down, which is annoying. Okay. And now we should be able to take out Rotom. And I don't hate that you set up the sun, because I got a powerful overheat for whoever you got left. <laughs> and you have to be wary about me putting sand back up. Pretty nice. Uh, Murkrow, I would expect to also have foul play. That could hurt Excadrill pretty bad. Who is this? Archaladon. I bring in Tyranitar. I lose a little bit of power on Rotom's overheat. I think I do want to throw overheat at Archaladon. It's just some big damage I can do right now. And if they commit attacking Rotom really hard. Bringing Salamence in isn't great. Nothing to intimidate really. I guess I'm fine with clicking Earthquake as well. If they let my Excadrill get a hit off, that'd be fine. Who are you bringing in? Is this Rillaboom finally? It is. Okay, now my Earthquake is half. Good play. And Draco into Rotom. Ouch. Yep, that's, a, that's painful. Okay. They're at minus two for now, until they can get a haze or swap that thing out. And that was still pretty decent into Archaladon, actually. Which does not have stamina. It didn't have stamina, did it? Hmm. I think I definitely want to go into Salamence here. Get an Intimidate down on that Rillaboom. Maybe set up our own Tailwind. Yeah, they're not stamina under our Chaladon. Interesting. Maybe a sturdy set that isn't Assault Vest. Meaning Draco Meteor might be able to do a decent amount of damage. Uh, they do have Tailwind up for two more turns. I can double protect here. But I don't know if I want to. That could let them get in Murkrow for free and get, it, get rid of that minus two. So I think I'll actually throw an Air Slash and Rillaboom and just protect. I don't think they're going to fake out Salamence. Yeah, they did get our Chaladon out. Didn't really want to waste a Draco Meteor on a Murkrow. I'll just protect the Drill. Woodhammer into Excadrill. Okay. <laughs> It's a minus one wood hammer, but that still would have hurt. And some free damage. Ooh, good damage too. Life orb, Salamence, no joke. Don't know if Excadrill can take that wood hammer. And, I, and burning Terra on Excadrill isn't going to help. Swapping in Tyranitar is going to be even worse. Excadrill does basically nothing to Arch anymore, though, so maybe I want Excadrill to go. I think Excadrill's the most losable Mon here. I think I'll set up my own Tailwind now. And go for... I think Rock Slide. I want to get some damage onto Murkrow. Okay, they set Sunny Day. They're worried about Tyranitar coming in. 
And they would hammer this. Oh, they're really committing to Tyranitar coming in there. That is not what I did. All right, free rock slide damage. Love it. Uh, assuming the rock slides connect. I'm not great at connecting those. Oh, they both do. Decent damage. Love it. Alright, when we have our Tailwind up, we're faster than their Rillaboom. Oh, we, th their Tailwind was still up. Okay, so we're faster than their Rillaboom when they match their Tailwind. That's great. So we can Iron Head there. I don't want to use a Draco yet. Is this... Grass going away two turns? Ooh, yeah. Alright, I just want to Air Slash Murkrow. Was Rock Slide gonna be enough? I don't think so. So I'll also Iron Head Rillaboom. Yeah, you set your own Tailwind, but unless it was a speed tie, we should be going first anyway. Ooh, we take out Murkrow. Salamence, you're actually hitting really hard. Whoa. I'll take it. I like that. And we get the Iron Head. Goodbye. Alright. Their Terra was on Golden Go, so they can't get around Earthquake once this grass goes away. And it looks like they turned off their console. They know it's over. GG. Okay, we've got an all-female team. <laughs> um, they've got Armourouge, Annihilate, Indeedee, Torkoal, Farigarath, and Hisuian Zor. This is a very scary hard trick room team, especially because the Zor could lead and we wouldn't know. Against Final Gambit shenanigans, Excadrill should be faster than Annihilate. And we have spread moves on both Tyranitar and Excadrill, which is nice, though we should worry about Armor Rouge Wide Guard. If they lead Zork, it doesn't do much damage into Tyranitar or Excadrill unless they have something like Focus Blast. So honestly, Tyranitar Excadrill. Torkoal probably comes. Primarina could be good into that. Primarina can take a lot of hits from everything, honestly. I don't. I don't hate Amoongus, but I don't love it because of all the Psychic types they've got. And finally, Salamence feels useless, Intimidate doesn't work on anything. Rotom, if they set Sun, I can get some boosted overheats, I can switch into a fire move, I can take a hit from Torkoal, hit back pretty hard, Salamence could do the same, but I think Rotom does that a little better. So that's who I'm going to go with. Going to bring Primarina and Rotom in the back. Yeah, not bringing Amoongus. I do want something in the back that can float. That's a decent card. So Primarina plus Amoongus probably wouldn't be it. Uh, let's see what they lead. It is Armor Rouge and Needy. They are likely going to fear the spread moves that I can do. I want to click Knock Off into Armor Rouge. If they follow me, Trick Room. I would love to Earthquake, but I'm not going to Earthquake my own Tyranitar, and I don't want to Terra my Tyranitar. But I could Rock Slide. In that case, I would want to Knock Off in DD and Rock Slide. It's a hard call, because I don't know if they have Wide Guard, I don't know if they're going to click Follow Me, I don't know who they're going to Terra, I don't know if they're going to go straight for an attack or set Trick Room. There's so many things to cover for. Okay, Terra Psychic Arm Rouge. That's a start. Alright, we get Rock Slide, there's no Follow Me. They're Weak Armor Armor Rouge. Hopefully they're not weak. Well, it doesn't matter if they're weakness policy. We didn't hit them super effectively. And that was a Zorark the whole time. Which flinched. Beautiful. <laughs> Love getting flinches. And Aura Spear and Tyranitar. Hopefully we eat. Oh, we don't even take half. And Zorark is gone because it flinched. Oh, I'm silly. 
There's no psychic terrain. Of course that was Zork. <laughs> it was Scarf Zork. Y'all were probably yelling at me that whole time. I didn't even notice there was no psychic terrain. Zork got me? No way did Zork get me like that. That's crazy. Okay. That's why you need to pay attention. Maybe they were going for a side U-turn, because they would be weak to that. Alright, Psychic Seed Indeedy. They don't have their weakness policy, Excadrill. Would Elk Excadrill always be faster? Not necessarily. They can be faster than this. But if they attack Excadrill, it'll be with a fire move. So I could... Swap in Rotom, Terra Ground, Earthquake. If I'm faster, I just knock them out. If I'm slower and they armor cannon, I should take that. Based on the Aura Sphere damage on Tyranitar. And this... I don't know if that's enough damage to knock out Indeedee, though. If they want to go a Trick Room route, but they already have a plus two speed on Armor. I don't think they're going Trick Room. Hopefully this works out. If they read this exact play and click Expanding Force and are faster, I could be in a lot of trouble. Especially Helping Hand Expanding Force. Probably clears the board. Oh, we're just faster. Beautiful. But Indeedee did not use a priority move, so it might be setting Trick Room. I wonder if they have uh, Corporal and Die. Armor Rouge lives! <laughs> Armor Rouge lived that! Oh, they're definitely faster than me now. And it was Armor Cannon. But Sand should knock them out. Wow. So what did Indeedee do? Set Trick Room? It's actually pretty good for you that your Ar <laughs> Armor Rouge is getting knocked out here. Yikes. Goodbye, Armor Rouge. I was a little worried that Indeedee got hit by the sand first, but that, that's how it's Trick Room, so Indeedee is gonna get hit by sand first. It's gonna move first. We don't get to see the speed interaction between Indeedee and Rotom, but I would assume the Indeedee's just slower. Oh, and here's Torkoal. Perfect. That Torkoal actually looks pretty big. Obviously, I'm going to bring in Tyranitar for the for the Excadrill slot, I think. Just to get rid of that sand. And then I'll throw a Thunderbolt Torkoal's way. Yeah, get, get rid of the sun, put up sand. Rotom should then be able to take anything from this Torkoal. Retaliate with a Thunderbolt to weaken its eruption. Should be all good. But Excadrill, man, you need a little more attack, I think. <laughs> this Excadrill set, it's a little bulky. I think it, needs, it has enough speed, apparently. But I think it needs a little more attack. Helping hand, probably an eruption coming. Yeah. Tyranitar should eat, Rotom should eat, should be fine. Oh, that's not that much damage at all, actually. I expected more. And we do have to Torkoal, beautiful. <laughs> and they disconnect. Goodbye. Uh, you know you can't win, so you turn off your console. A lot of people have been turning off their console in ranked regulation H for me. I don't know. Like, there's a forfeit button. You don't gotta, you don't gotta rage quit like that. But alright. Here we are against Snow. Sand v. Snow. They've got Glaceon. They've got Alola Ninetales. They've got Hi Dragon. Say hi to Dragon. Uh, they have Annihilate, Kilowattrel, and Garchomp. So maybe a little bit of a Disquake core at the bottom there. You can Earthquake next to that and High Dragon. Some good synergies going on here. Annihilate just loves being behind screens. They've got Tailwind and some strong dragons. Okay. Tyranitar on lead is weak to... Garchomp, maybe? I, I, Tyranitar Excadrill lead isn't bad. My only concern would be them putting Ninetales in the back, bringing it in, but it's hard to bring in in front of the, these two. I guess I take a KO and then they can bring it in and get Veil up. That would be a little annoying. Primarina seems great into most of their team. Unless they have like Freeze Dry on something, 
And then Kilowatt Troll obviously hits it. And Rotom, maybe? Or Salamence? Salamence procs the Defiant and the Competitive they have. The only Intimidate mod, Intimidable mod is Garchomp, and that's usually Clear Amulet. And they have Dragon, Dragon, Ice, Ice. Okay, so it's not Ments. Amoongus? Or Rotom? I want to say Rotom. It gives me something in the air, so I can Earthquake more freely. They also have Earthquake, so it's something I can swap into Earthquake. Yeah, I think that's the way. I don't know how many Earthquakes I'm really going to be clicking in this game, though. Ooh, they really like Ice. Okay. Respect. Also, respect for not bringing Sand Slash. It's not very good. Alright. Kilowattral Garchomp is how they're going to play this. I got you. Cool. This could be... It's definitely an Earthquake from their Garchomp. I could Terra Flying my Tyranitar. I could get my Tyranitar out just in case they want to set snow later. If I bring in Rotom, I'll probably want to Terra Ground. It's probably who I was going to Terra anyway. I think I'll click Rock Slide, because if I can get rid of Kilowattral, that'd be nice. Kilowattral swaps into... Is this Ninetales? I would love to see Ninetales. It is Ninetales. All right. I'm glad I got Tyranitar out, because now I can bring Tyranitar back. Though bringing Tyranitar back in won't be the easiest thing. And a Terra for me. Okay, looks like no Terra from their end. I guess Earthquake here would have been better than Rock Slide, but I wanted to hit the Kilowatt, but they didn't let me. Oh, they threw Rock Slide. Sorry, Rotom. They saw you coming. You connect with ours, at least. Alright, time to bring in Tyranitar. This time I should probably... I'm not too worried. Should I iron... Should I just iron head nine tails? That's the real question. Bringing in Tyranitar might be too obvious. Either. I'm gonna Will-O-Wisp the Garchomp. And Earthquake. See how you react to that. Yes, they withdrew Ninetales. Cool. You're definitely expecting a Tyranitar swap. Alright, they send their own Earthquake. Yeah, they definitely thought Tyranitar was coming in. Okay, Excadrill should take this pretty well. Mmm, not great, but now we got the burn. Beautiful. This has definitely been a reed-heavy game. <laughs> oh, they have Lumberry? You have Lumberry, Garch! <laughs> wow, okay. What can I say? That's, that's great. Nice. <laughs> Good damage into Garchomp, though. I love that. If I bring in Tyranitar now and take a KO, they can get their Aurora Veil up. I'm wondering if that even matters, though. I'll bring in Tyranitar, and I really need to get rid of Garchomp to keep Tyranitar safe on the swap in. So I'll Iron Head the, Tyr uh, the Garchomp. Uh, this. If I get the KO on Garchomp here, if they don't, like, protect or swap... Well, they didn't swap. If they, if they protect, then maybe... Oh! They did protect! Alright, we're back into the mind games. And they just set Tailwind. Okay. 
They're gonna be faster anyway now. So I think I want to rock slide with my Tyranitar. They might be reading a Rotom coming in there. I could double rock slide. They, they could they would have to double a slot to do to get a KO here. Would they double Excadrill? Am I willing to give up Excadrill? Maybe. And I'll also Iron Head the Garchomp then. Okay, they swap Kilowattrel. I assume this is Ninetales then. Hey, you might be able to get your Veil finally. And a Terra from Garchomp. What do you got? Steel? Ground. Are you gonna Earthquake your own Ninetales, or are you just boosting the Stomping to KO Excadrill? You are gonna Earthquake. Oh! Does this KO the whole board? No. Tyranitar can eat. And Ninetales can eat. That was pretty scary, though. Good plays. Really good plays in this game. Oh, uh, but Ninetales goes down finally. Beautiful. I think I need to bring in Rotom here. They bring in their Kilowatt. Gotcha. Rock Slide. And an electric move into Rotom is probably their play. What I can do about that, I don't know. I think they might have me pinned. That Terra, that Terra Ground self earthquake your Ninetales play was really good. If I had protected Excadrill, probably my, might be in a little bit better position. But Rock Slide is not the most accurate move from their end. So I think I might want to bank on they can't connect all the rock slides. So I'm going to overheat the Garchomp and... Ooh, Electroweb! Oh, that takes out Tyranitar. And crits Rotom. Okay. This is a much more accurate way to take out both of my mods. There's rock slide. Which we don't dodge. Okay, this is looking like a GG. <laughs> Alright, Primarina. Alright, what could I have done differently? If I had protected Excadrill that one turn, I would be in a slightly better position. They would have had to Earthquake. Rotom would, would have been safe to come in. Put Sand back up. I mean, I guess it's not over. If all they have is Electro Web, they could miss it. But they do not miss it. It seems like that might be all they have. I think we're in uh, Stomping Tantrum or Earthquake range now, though, so that's game over. I, I assume this came from here. No, it doesn't. All right, Primarina. <laughs> If their last mod only has inaccurate moves, I guess we have a chance. Oh, it might if it was Glaceon? Then maybe we should have been protecting the stall the snow. <laughs> but that win count is so, so small. Tailwind's finally gone, but you've got a way faster mod anyway. And I'm at minus one speed now. Oh, Primarina took that double up. Impressive. And it's Annihilate, but Annihilate doesn't tend to run inaccurate moves. But, if it gets greedy and makes a mistake, Kilowattrel misses, we KO Ape with Moonblast. Nah, Rage Fist can do it. Alright, sorry that one had a long ending, but that was a really well played game at the beginning. Wow, that was fun.
I'm cool with losing as long as I have a fun match like that. Great game to my opponent. Great trainer card. Love you. Okay, we've got... Ooh! A Delphox! They've got Archeladon, Murkrow, Mousehold, Sneasler, Mail Indeedy, and Delphox. Delphox is definitely cool. If they have Weather on Excadrill, that's annoying for... If they have Weather on Murkrow, that's annoying for Excadrill. Fast Psy Spam is scary. But Excadrill... Ty Tyranitar is great in the Psy Spam. What it's afraid of is Sneasler. But Excadrill can really take care of Sneasler pretty well, except Sneasler would be faster. So we want Salamence for Intimidate. Excadrill, T-Tar, Salamence. The question is the fourth and the order. I think it's fine to lead Tyranitar Excadrill. The only weather they would have is on Murkrow, and they have to take a turn taking it away from us. And I do think they're going to lean into Psy Spam. The question is, what else do I have that's any good into Sneasler? Or Psy Spam? Rotom feels strange. I'm wondering if that's a Pop Bomb Mousehold as well, actually. I guess I should also fear beat up into their own Archaladon. Just to stack defense boosts, in which case I would want probably Rotom. Just to deal some decent damage on the special side. Maybe burn it to weaken the body presses. I don't know. I don't know. The fourth mon here is a hard call. I think the first three are right. Hopefully they just go Delphox size spam in front and we can handle it. Ooh, that's a cool card. Big Clot Sire. Alright, Murkrow Archaladon. Not what I wanted to see. This could be Rain. Could be Terra your Archaladon right away as well. Uh, I could swap out Tyranitar to start Earthquaking. Tyranitar does have to worry about body press. I think Salamence is fairly safe to come in. But I think I actually want to Iron Head Murkrow. I want to get rid of Murkrow as soon as possible. Yeah, take out the Crow. And then slow down the game until their Tailwind ends, put up my own Tailwind. That's a lot of long-term planning that may not pan out, but we'll see. Sunny Day. Okay. That's not rain, so you can't just start Electroshotting freely. And Flash Cannon to Talon. That'll hurt, actually. A little over half. And Iron Head does less than half to Murkrow. Okay. Salamence, not exactly safe. But they didn't Terra the Archaladon or anything. So actually, I want to click. I want to protect Salamence. And I want to Earthquake now. They don't seem to be worried at all about me Earthquaking their Archaladon, but they ought to be. Now they set Tailwind. I hope they're just hitting Salamence. Electro Shot. Are they a Power Herb set then? And that won't be at Excadrill, I can tell you that. Yeah, they are Power Herb. Okay. No Assault Fest, that means. And probably not much Bolt. Seen a lot more Power Herb Electro Shot shenanigans going around these days. Let's see how much Earthquake does. It doesn't KO, of course. It's, a, it's an Archaladon. It's crazy. Yeah, they don't have stamina. Cool. Into Ments, they would probably throw a, another Flash Cannon, honestly. There's no reason to do anything else. So Rotom comes in safely. And their Earthquake swap in is they don't have one, honestly. So yeah, I think Rotom comes in pretty safely. And we can Earthquake. Trying to finish off this Archaladon. But since you don't have... I really expected a Body Press set, but it seemed like you wouldn't have Body Press on that set at all. Yep, there's Flash Cannon. Beautiful. We take that so easy. Foul play, that's gonna hurt. That does a lot of damage. Okay, that hurt a lot. Excadrill, you got too much attack for your own good. But, at least we're up by a mile. 
And the mod that we took down is one of the scariest ones in the game, so I'll take it. What you got next? Indeedy. Self-contained Psy Spam. Alright. Don't know the speed interactions entirely. Two turns of Tailwind. Bringing in Tyranitar seems like the play. I don't know if that'll actually make Excadrill faster than anything, though. And if I protect here, they're just gonna get rid of my sand next turn. But if I don't, I'll have to have something else in. So yeah, I will just protect here. And bring in Tyranitar. Just stalling out a turn of their tailwind here. I can decide what to do with Excadrill later. Because ideally, I can knock out Murkrow here on their last turn of tailwind with my Tyranitar. And they foul play into that slot. Tyranitar takes it pretty well. Not a big deal. Alright, indeed he gets chipped before, Mur before Murkrow. This might just be a sunny day expanding force. Who would I like to lose? Hmm. I think it's probably Sneasler in the back. Which makes Salamence really important. I think I'm gonna click Rock Slide. Twice. Yeah, Expanding Force. I expect this to just knock out Excadrill, honestly. Yeah, it does. Alright, I, I just stayed in just in case there was a chance I survived. But I did not. Hopefully, I can take out their Murkrow now, though. Rock Slide double connects. Beautiful. Goodbye, Murkrow. I'd like to know the item on your Indeedee. But I'll bring in Salamence now. It is Sneezler, perfect. Love getting an Intimidate down on that. Unless it's White Herb, then I just gave it a speed boost instead. But it should be Psychic Seed on a team like this. Yeah, Psychic Seed. Okay. Three whole turns of terrain remain. Don't love that. My biggest fear is that that Indeedy is actually Scarfed. Because Scarf Expanding Force plus Close Combat is nothing I can really do. Except Terra Blast the Sneasler and Air Slash and Didi, and then I get taken out if they're Scarf. If the Indeedee, yeah, if the Indeedee Scarf, I don't know if there's anything I can do here. Because a close combat plus expanding force would KO Tyranitar pre or post Terra. Dire Claw is into Salamence, which we live. And we're faster. Good. They were not Scarf and Deedee. Okay. That should be game. Woo! <laughs> that was a tight one. Oh, boy. They were doing a lot of damage with that expanding force, though, so maybe they were a more offensive item than Scarf. Sneasler goes down to the Terra Blast, and we take the game? Yeah. All right. Woo! GG. Man, that was close. And we're back. I think Excadrill is so fun. And in a meta where it's actually viable like this, it's just it's just a blast to use. I did get into some situations where it was awkward to have Earthquake and not high horsepower, but overall this team is super solid. I recommend you give it a shot. 
especially if you're having trouble climbing into Master Ball, because this team can get you there. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.